John Ashworth was first introduced to the world of golf by his father when he was just eight years old. Within a year, he was playing well enough to compete in the local junior golf program. From then on, John practically lived on the golf courses, where on summer days he could play golf all day for only a dollar. At 16, he played on the Orange Glen High School golf team and qualified for the U.S. Junior Amateurs. I met John back in 1971 or so, and uh, you know, he's probably 10 years old, as 11, just little young junior golfers. You know, nice little kid. Uh, we didn't get along very well though, <laughs> because we were competing against one another in junior golf. It was kind of the Oceanside crew against the Escondido crew, and uh, he always beat me. And then uh, I remember one, finally one time I beat him, and he was, he was not happy. And uh, I, I still have the picture that day when I beat him, so it was, it was pretty funny. After graduating from high school, John enrolled at Palomar College. He had the lowest average golf score in Palomar's league and was quickly scooped up by the University of Arizona with a full scholarship. John credits Palomar with providing him the needed preparation to succeed at a four-year university. John graduated from the University of Arizona with a degree in turf management, but didn't feel that either the PGA Tour or golf course management was a good fit for him. John Ashworth is a absolutely wonderful friend and a former partner. I met John in 1985 on a golf course when he was caddying for Mark Wiebe, who played on the PGA for many, many years. John was his caddy, and I played in a tournament with Mark, and we got a chance to meet at that time. One day in 1986, while the two were driving on the Five in Los Angeles, John brought up the notion that the clothing on the PGA Tour was in need of a big change. Jerry encouraged John to brand his idea. Within a few months, Jerry had developed a business plan and they raised enough capital to begin production. When we first started Ashworth, we started in downtown Los Angeles. We decided to move it to Oceanside, but we had no contractors here to make our shirts. We were told about one called Joe Hagel uh, in Oceanside. We went over to see the Hagel family and talked to them about shirts, got there about 3.30 in the afternoon. They were sitting there drinking their beers with their crew late in the day. And uh, we went in and John said, asked him, he said, Mr. Can you make this shirt? And the guy goes, yeah. And he says, well, we'd like to talk to you about making some of these shirts. He says, no, I said I could make it. But as you can see, we're too busy here. So John and I left with our kind of head between our legs. And the next day, John said, let's go back over there. Although, let's take a case of Budweiser with us. After we went back over there, we ended up spending till probably 10 o'clock at night talking to these people, hugging them at the end of the night. And they became, with a handshake, our contractor that made 100% of our shirts right here in California, to the tune of about 40,000 shirts a week. What developed was the company Ashworth. Today, a business recognized as reinventing golf apparel. The company was not an overnight success, though, and John worked tirelessly to move it forward bit by bit. In terms of just following what you believe in, John always um, believes that he can do something. He's not afraid to fail. He'll go after something that he wants. It might not always turn out the way he wants it to, but he will never quit something because he thinks he can't do it. The turning point for the business came when John convinced Fred Couples and John Cook, both young but well-established golfers, to wear his line. You know, the Ashworth name became the fastest growing uh, golf apparel company in the, in the world, became the largest golf apparel company in the world. And John was so responsible for really inventing and developing a whole new look for golf in fashion and in style. One of John's incredible accomplishments was that he made it possible for high school guys to get a date. Well, you had to be alive in the 70s to know what high school golfers were really like <laughs> before John and Ashworth and the cool in golf came around. Watching John work with um, the people at Ashworth was a really cool experience for me. He was a relational boss. I think our dad used to say, you know, everybody puts their pants on one leg at a time. And he really took that to heart. It wasn't like he was better than anyone else or that anyone else was better than him. By 1997, the Ashworth clothing line had seen tremendous growth, with annual sales reaching $90 million. But John never got into the clothing business to make a great deal of money. He got into the clothing business to make a difference. 
After accomplishing great things with Ashworth, he decided to explore other areas of interest, such as the spiritual side of golf, world travel, and other clothing design opportunities. He started a new apparel line for Quicksilver called Fidra, honoring an historic golf course in Scotland. In 2007, John was invited back to Ashworth by the new owners, tailor-made Adidas Golf, to help the company reconnect with its core customers. Well, we really believe that having John a part of the re-emergence of the brand of Ashworth was something that was really going to help us reconnect again to golfers everywhere because John's a guy that not only knows a lot about apparel and a lot about style, but he is a guy that has a deep love for the sport and a deep love for the golfers that play it. You know, the name is the name is well known throughout the golf industry and it's 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 pretty impressive to see, you know, John walk in a room and people I hear him say, that's, that's John Ashworth. I mean it's it's pretty cool and I, you know, known him a long time, so I'm kind of proud to be around that and it makes you feel good. John is a golf avatar, an artist and a designer. He's a cave of many things. He's like his clothing, authentic and natural. The President's Associates are proud to present the 2010 Comet Award for Alumni Accomplishment to John Ashworth. <laughs>